One of the greatest track and field careers in NCAA history came to an end last month as Saginaw Valley State's Cheyenne Nesbitt became the first woman to win four consecutive championships in the heptathlon. It still hasn't sunk in. Just like hearing that, it kind of just goes out the other end because I'm like, oh yeah, no, that's not me. Like. Whatever, but it is. She's also just the sixth woman in Division II history to win four straight nationals in any event. She's the GOAT. She's the greatest of all time. With those metrics alone, what else can she be other than the GOAT? And don't let the smile fool you. Nesbitt is as fierce a competitor as you will ever see. I'll watch her in competition and she's just chatting away and she's just palling it up with all the ladies but inside she's like i'm gonna i'm gonna take her head off you know and and that type of ability to flip the switch at a moment's notice is is incredibly impressive so how does someone dominate a sport and continue to stay motivated for nesbitt it's all about her next goal, becoming an Olympian. I hit that high at NCAA, it felt really, really good, and now I'm kind of focused more, you know, moving forward. So you just have to, once you hit like one thing, then it's keep, keep the momentum going, keep, you know, put your head down, keep working hard. That's what I'm doing. I'm working all the way up until we get there, and even when we get there, I'm going to put out my best efforts and do my best. The 2024 Olympic trials are scheduled for later this month and Nesbitt plans to continue her hot streak from Saginaw, Michigan to Eugene, Oregon and eventually to Paris, France. Just taking in that I'm living out my dream and I'm, you know, I'm one step closer to becoming an Olympian. Obviously all the support and everything like that, you think about like I wouldn't have been able to do this by myself. No longer without my family, my husband, uh, my coaches, my family, literally everybody, literally has been, you know, the biggest support system.